If you were watching us in the days leading into the, the first presidential debate, and I, on that first debate day, I was showing you a map that was trending Donald Trump's way. Well, since that debate, the tide has clearly shifted in Hillary Clinton's favor. Brand new poll from WBUR out of New Hampshire today. A seven-point Clinton lead in the state of New Hampshire in a four-way race among likely voters. Let's move over to Michigan. Sound familiar? A seven-point Clinton lead among likely voters in this Detroit News survey here. Let's go out west to Nevada. Heading into the debate, Donald Trump was actually ahead in Nevada. Brand new Suffolk University poll out today shows Hillary Clinton with a six-point lead in the four-way race. In Nevada, they ask none of these candidates, 3%, watch how that number is, but a lead in Nevada where Trump was ahead. And in the biggest battleground toss-up of all in Florida, Mason-Dixon poll out today shows Hillary Clinton with a narrow four-point lead, but still in the lead heading into the debate. Uh, Donald Trump was tied or ahead in some polls. Why does that matter? Well, let's go to the electoral map. Our current electoral map has Hillary Clinton favored to win if she can hold these light blue states. Those are the ones that lean Democratic. Well, New Hampshire was one of those states. That poll's good news. Michigan was one of those states. That poll is good news. Donald Trump's in Michigan today. And imagine a world where Hillary Clinton wins Nevada and wins Florida, where those polls come out today. There's no way, if that happens, absolutely no way, Donald Trump can win the presidency if she can hold those states. So the challenge now, in the week before the second debate, and then out of it, try to sustain that momentum.